Sharon Borker. I'm an architect. I further done my project management and data analytics. Presently, I am pursuing my PhD at the Leeds Sustainability Institute, funded by the Leeds City Council. The UK is facing a cost of living crisis, wherein energy prices are rising. There is also the fuel poverty, which is on the rise. Can the government do something about this? Are the measures taken by the government sufficient? What can we do about it? My PhD aims to answer some of these questions. There are 28 million residential properties within the UK, of which 19 million are poorly insulated. That is, they have an EPC rating of less than a D, wherein D is the average. These houses, that means these houses are energy inefficient. They consume more than the average energy to be kept warm and comfortable. EPC or energy performance certificate is a review of the energy efficiency of a home. Presently, it is being used by would-be buyers and renters to assess how much the energy bills will cost in the new house or property or flat. Can the energy efficiency of a home be improved? Can our energy bills be brought down? Retrofitting can improve, is a method of improving the energy efficiency of a home or a flat. This is done by insulating the roof, the walls, the openings, such that the heat within the home, which is used to warm up the home, does not escape. It also looks at your ventilation, improves the ventilation design, uh, also the heating of the space, the efficiency of the hot water systems, it includes renewables as well. But how do we know that the retrofitting is delivering the results that the required results? The World Green Building Council developed a toolkit to assess retrofitting. Today, it is one of the largest collaborative uh, projects in Europe. Started in 2015, they decided to test run it in eight pilot cities. Within the UK, Leeds was selected. Post-Brexit, the UK Green Building Council developed their own version of the Build Upon 2 framework to monitor, measure, and improve the retrofitting within the country. This toolkit is made up of three sections, the environmental, the social, and the economic, which is further subdivided into 15 indicators. So there are five indicators per section. The environmental takes care of, uh, looks at the energy renovation rate, the energy performance of the building, the carbon dioxide emissions, the EPC rating, the social indicators include the indoor air quality, the thermal comfort of the occupants during summer as well as winter. The economic indicators include uh, factors such as the uh, return on investment, the financial savings of the project, as well as the job generation and upskilling of the workers. So this toolkit is meant to be a comprehensive analysis of the retrofitting project. My PhD involves analyzing whether this toolkit is workable, is practically implemented on site. The Leeds City Council has been retrofitting several projects over the past few years. Many of them are the back-to-back -back social houses that were built in, 19, in the 1930s that are in desperate need of insulation and their occupants are also facing fuel poverty. However, there are also some properties that were built as recent as 2004, which is 18 years ago, that are badly insulated and the occupants do not have warm and comfortable homes in spite of spending more than the average energy bills. So my research involves extracting data from these ongoing projects of the, of the council and using the toolkit to investigate whether the whether there is an uh, the accuracy of the um, findings and the measurements of these retrofit activities and in addition to that i would also be looking at what constitutes a successful retrofit are what are the barriers and the drivers of retrofits how are people evaluating retrofits across the world the findings of my research will be used by the Leeds City Council to 
strategize their future retrofit projects to ensure that the people within Leeds have warm and comfortable homes that are affordable and energy efficient. It would also help in reducing carbon em emissions and ensuring that they meet their net zero carbon goals, as well as job creation. And so it would help to improve the economy. Further, the findings of my project would be shared with other councils to evaluate best practices. Hence, this research has the potential to reach a national level as well as an international worldwide scope to ensure that people live in energy efficient homes that are affordable with less carbon emissions and improve the economy. It is one step forward, edging a little closer to ensuring that we reduce our carbon emissions and live in energy efficient homes and the future generation gets a more greener, sustainable planet. In the words of the British uh, polar explorer, Robert Swan, the greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.